Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to install a um, NGMA 14-50P uh, plug and this plug, I bought this because I have a EV uh, charger that I actually took the original plug out and so I bought this replacement plug uh, because I used this plug for the, um, the induction uh, cooktop that I had uh, just bought so again this is missing the plug I bought this plug it's about uh, I think $12 shipped and it's UL listed actually and uh, I bought it on Amazon so basically I'm going to show you guys how to quickly install this uh, this 14 50 p 50 amp receptacle uh, onto the EV charging cable and as you can see this charging cable actually only had three wires so this is a four pin and we're actually gonna just ignore one of the pins on the top and then we're gonna install um, the three pin into the charger. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and basically just uh, unscrew this and you can probably do it faster with a um, with the electric screwdriver. So this one is held by a few screws on the other side, as you can see. So when you open it, you have to be really careful. Try not to lose the little screw cap over there, okay? But basically, every different receptacle opens differently. So this one opens like that. So we have all the small parts for the cover of, which exposes the inner part looks like this. It's actually uh, kind of feels cheaply made. Again, it's $14 uh, or like $12, $14 with tax. And I think Home Depot actually sells a branded receptacle, the same thing for about $20. Um, if you want more safety, more reliability, you guys should check out uh, that receptacle. Up put a link on that receptacle as well. But for now, we're gonna install this one, okay? So we're gonna actually skip the top one. We're not gonna use the top one. We're just gonna leave it there. Uh, in that case, I'm just gonna tighten it so it doesn't dangle around. And like literally, if you want, you can probably take the entire piece off, just piece by pieces. Um, so it's all held by a little screw over here onto the blade and uh, the blade also captures this little tooth over here so basically you just align the tooth on the top and then you kind of put the screw in there and what you're gonna do next is basically just piece those pieces into the thing and then close the cap and that's pretty much it it's super easy super simple so uh, what we're going to do next is actually, you can see there's a black wire, red wire, and a green, yellow wire. The black and red, you're going to connect to the two pieces on two sides. And the green one, you're just going to connect to the, uh, I'm sorry, to the bottom one. You're going to ignore the one on the, on the bottom, to the top one. You're going to ignore the one on the bottom. Okay, so let's start. So basically just try to get those pieces in there as efficiently as you can. I'm gonna do the top one first. In that case, I'm gonna tighten the bottom one because we're not gonna use this one. This is where a white wire usually goes, okay? But we don't have the white wire for the four pin. So I loosen the, the top one just gonna put the green wire, ground wire, onto there, and I'm gonna just tighten it, get it secured. And once it's secured in there, we worry about the other two wires. Now I'm gonna do the the red one. Just get it in there and then tighten it, like so. So the red one is done. 
I'm sorry, the black one is down. And at the last, we're going to do this one. And this one is uh, actually, I'm going to lose this. And then simply just put the little existing wire into the, the little tooth or little tongue. And then we're going to tighten it as well. So this is what you basically do with a three wire connection on a four wire plug. You're going to just ignore this one for now. And we're going to actually put all the stuff back in there. And we're simply going to drop those little caps onto this side nicely and evenly. And then we're going to try to put the screw in from the other side. Let's see if it's possible. Kinda. So let's do the first one. So once you get like one of the screws in there, the rest should be uh, fairly easy, okay? So we're gonna tighten this one next. For some reason it's uh, it's not aligning properly. Let's see. Let's do it one by one slowly. So align this one. So we have two wires down. Now we're gonna do the I'm just double checking because there's a gap. I want to make sure nothing ex is exposed once I put everything back together. I'm gonna do this one. And the last one. So fairly simple installation process, okay? Um, and then we're gonna test it to see if it actually charges my EV properly on the 220 volt um, socket that uh, I just installed in the garage. So now I'm tightening all four. And that's pretty much it. So uh, let's go test and see the charges. And now here in my garage, I got this plug installed. And as you can see, I have a nicely installed receptacle 50 amp over here. And my Honda Clarity plug-in hybrid is right here. So first thing first, just gonna plug the thing into the plug and give it a try. See if everything lights up. So the red light is up and let's give it a try. Right here, charging 220 volt. Works beautifully. So there you have it. That's how you replace the 14-50P um, 50, 50 amp um, plug. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. Otherwise, uh, thank you so much for watching.